What's up, this is Darren. What's up guys, this is Alex for Skate Warehouse and today we're doing a wear test on Leo Romero's newest shoe from E-America, the Americana. So this is basically a remake of his first E-America Pro model, uh, which came out in about 2006. I skated a bunch of pairs when I was younger. It's always a great shoe, so it's cool to see him kind of remake it with the two original stripes, but they're just perforated air holes this time. And uh, obviously it's got a ton of new features from the first model. It's got the pig suede upper, which was just a crazy durable material. We skated these things for about two weeks. And it, as you can see, there's some tearing on like the stitching, but the actual material itself hasn't gone anywhere. So it's pretty impressive. So I've been skating the shoes for about two weeks now. It only took me like one or two days to really break them in. I'm normally a vulcanized kind of guy, but the cup sole is really nice. A little bit of extra padding. They were a little snug on the foot at first, but after a few days, they loosened up and fit on the foot very nicely. So it was a little tight at first, um, just because it's a slimmer silhouette shoe, I got kind of wide foot, but once the, uh, the elastic in the shoe kind of starts to mold with your foot and it kind of breaks in, it really does eventually fit true to size. I really like the tongue strap feature on this. It's always nice to have a little security on your feet, keep them nice and snug while you're jumping down something, skating a rail, even just skating flat ground. You don't want your foot to be flying around in there. Um, it's got the wax laces. It doesn't rip quite as quick. As you can see, I got a little bit, but didn't go all the way through like a pair of laces usually does for me. On the top of the shoe here where you get most of your flick, it's got the grooves cut into it, so it just gives it that little extra flick. It wears down eventually, but you can definitely tell a difference the first few sessions. They use a G6 insole for this shoe. I've skated it recently in a pair of the Andrew Reynolds shoes. Nice and sturdy in the back, but still cushiony. Slims out in the front, but it's still pretty flexible and sturdy. I liked it a lot. It's a kind of a thinner shoe, but they got the G6 insole in there, so you're not gonna hurt yourself jumping down anything. I'm always a big fan of that. The triangle tread on the bottom is really nice. It's flexible and grippy, and I really don't think I'm gonna wear through it anytime soon. It's always a bummer when you wear out the bottom of the shoe before the rest of the shoe. Seems like kind of a waste, and I really don't see that happening with this one. I was surprised with the pig suede on these. I feel like with most shoes that I skate, I tear through them pretty quickly, but the pig suede seems to be pretty durable. And uh, I feel like I can get another two or three weeks down in these. This pig suede was really what I was most impressed with was just how truly durable it is. I even put a sheet of brand new mob on this newest board I gripped to see how hard I could rip through these. And it didn't do much. I've always been a big fan of Lee Romero and skated his first shoes a bunch. So when I found out they were doing a little remake on the first ones, I was stoked to be able to get a pair and test them out. So I've always been a big fan of E-America shoes, uh, especially just all Leo's pro models over the years. It was awesome to see him bring back the original in a new way. Awesome shoe. You can pick yourself up a pair at skatewarehouse.com.